Well, good evening and welcome to this Vespers that we're streaming live here from La Serie University Church. We're so pleased that you are here with us tonight. Uh, it is a privilege and honor to introduce to you Dr. Alvin Rodriguez. Many of you, if you're part of our church community, the La Sierra community, uh, you're very familiar with Dr. Rodriguez and the beautiful music that he always shares with us, whether it's on the organ or the piano or the accordion, you play the violin, what do you not play? <laughs> so it is uh, beautiful to have Alvin here tonight. You know, a little bit of background. Uh, during uh, some of our worship services, we would have hymn fest, and that would be where we simply request people in the congregation to uh, shout out their favorite hymns, and then we would sing them. Alvin Lynette, um, Alvin's uh, wife, would lead that, and we found that to be really meaningful in our congregation, and so we decided to do that tonight. Tonight, we're doing it only with a piano, though, and so Alvin is going to start with uh, a selection. Um, and while he's playing that, we invite you in the comment threads, whether you're on YouTube or on the church website or on Facebook, uh, to make your requests for favorite hymns that you would like Alvin to arrange and play for us. We're blessed with uh, his incredible composing on the spot, <laughs> uh, or arranging, so I say, and composing um, in the moment. So it's going to be beautiful to, uh, to have that. So make sure you make your comments, and then I'll text it down to Alvin so that he can uh, look at that, and then we'll go from there. At the end, Alvin will play another piece uh, that he had pre-selected already, and then uh, he will pray. Uh, Dr. Rodriguez has been, uh, is at La Serie University, professor of music, uh, piano studies. He's been the chair of the music department uh, 20 years now, going on the 21st year. Uh, what, what an amazing gift to our community. And as we uh, start tonight, I invite you to pray. God, we are grateful for the gift of Sabbath time, uh, especially during a pandemic. Sabbath seems to fall easy on us. It is a reminder, God, that you are with us and that we can be with you. So tonight, as we share some time together, we are grateful for the gift of music as well um, that brings us all together in ways few things can. Thank you for Alvin and uh, his gifts and talents. And so bless him now as we enjoy this time together. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Alvin.
Well, good evening. And um, I think maybe many of you knew that hymn as my tribute. And I thought it would be fitting that um, we start this Vespers program giving uh, tribute to the only one that is worth giving tribute, which is to God. And I hope that the hymns that we play and reflect on tonight will, uh, will give us a, a time of peace, a space of peace and quiet and reflection and will bring us closer to God. So I think what I'm going to do is when um, somebody requests a hymn, um, especially if it's a hymn that's not well known, as I think might happen at times, I will play one stanza the way it's in the hymn book, just in case if my uh, arrangement or rambling gets a little bit strange, that you at least have a, something to go by. Uh, and hopefully that will help us. So, uh, Pastor Devo, do we have a hymn or hymns that have been suggested? Maybe say a few things while I wait for the first hymn. Um, I just wanted to say that uh, it's a privilege for me to be, um, be here tonight. And, um, you know, this whole thing of, of, of playing hymns um, is something I did. Uh, it's actually one of the first things I ever learned to do was play hymns. And um, it got to the point where I was able to um, play quite a few hymns by memory. Uh, just because they kept happening. Okay, now we got a, wow, we got a lot of lists here. Um, so, we will see what happens. Um, so, hymn number 167 is actually uh, a great hymn, Sing to Jesus. Um, let me go ahead and just play it once through, and then I will do an arrangement of that hymn.
Okay. Um, we have a long list of hymns here. Lift up the trumpet, and we have this hope, which I, I expected to see that one at some point here. So um, maybe, uh, let me see if I can do something with both. Uh, we have this hope and lift up the trumpet.
by the way, um, in case you didn't know, we have this hope uh, was, of course, written by Wayne Hooper, uh, composed by Wayne Hooper. And it was composed on the way to the general conference. Uh, I don't know the exact number. Some of you might know that trivia. Um, but it was written on the way. Um, and what inspired him actually is uh, a portion of a Brahms symphony that goes something like this. And he thought of that symphony which he loved, and uh, that's what gave him the beginning. And then from there, he took it. So just a little trivia in case you didn't know that. Um, it's an inspiration from a classical composer. Um, and it came at a, at a great time and has become sort of the hymn of the church, of the Adventist church. All right, looking at some of these other ones here. Oh, this would be very nice. The Holy City, it's not exactly in the hymn book, but it's a well-known uh, hymn. Uh, certainly uh, has been around for a long time. And I guess it was uh, a favorite of Dr. Zane, who just recently passed away. And so I, I would love to be able to, um, to play the Holy City in honor of Dr. Zane. Um, and for those of you who know the hymn, it's a beautiful hymn about that holy city that we all want to be in.
another hymn which uh, seems to be um, popular here. I'm just kind of going through and seeing if I could see some of them. Man, there's so many hymns. Um, Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, and looks like what a friend we have in Jesus. Maybe I'll do a little medley of those two. So, tis so sweet to trust in Jesus, and what a friend.
what a friend we have in Jesus, and tis so sweet. Um, actually, what a friend we have in Jesus is my mom's favorite hymn. So, and I know she's listening, so um, it's kind of a special one for me. Um, a Mighty Fortress, um, let's see. Yes, let's do A Mighty Fortress, and then maybe I will do one more here. Uh, all Creatures of Our God and King. I'm not quite sure how I'll do that, but let's see if I can remember those two. So A Mighty Fortress and um, All Creatures.
Well, I feel complete now because A Mighty Fortress was my dad's favorite hymn. So now I've done both my parents' uh, honor, and, uh, and hopefully some others have enjoyed those two hymns as well. Okay, praise hymn um, 249. That's a different praise hymn. So which one is that one? 249. Oh, that one, yes. Praise him, and uh, let's see. Okay.
Okay. Well, let's see. Uh, I want to say I'd like to do this one. Let me see if I can find it because I know a lot of these hymns, uh, the titles in Spanish, not in English. So sometimes I'll say, oh, I've never seen that. And then I play the hymn. It's like, oh, I know this hymn. So, ah, uh, uh, yes. Let's see. So um, many of us have Sabbath traditions. And, and certainly in my family, we had many Sabbath traditions. Uh, but there was always one hymn we would always play, um, and I have no idea what it's called in English, so uh, unfortunately I can't even say that. But this is one that I think many of us know. Day is Dying in the West, and I think it's uh, very appropriate for um, the time right now, as the day is leaving us and now nighttime is coming and Sabbath is entering. So enjoy this. I'll play one stanza and then I'll play a little arrangement.
Well, it feels very strange talking to a camera, but I have felt like I've connected with, with all of you just by getting the list of hymns. And so thank you for sharing this special Vespers time with me. I wish we had more time to just keep going. Um, but um, I also uh, think it's important to spend some time with family. So I want to leave you with one more hymn. Um, and this is a hymn that's also very meaningful to me for many reasons. Um, different times in my life where I wasn't sure what the future held. And it seems like it's a cycle that gets repeated again and again and again. Um, now we are in a time where, again, we don't know when the end of this virus is. We don't know when the end of violence and, and uh, ugly things uh, will go away. But we do know that we have a fixed rock, and that is Jesus, that we can fix our eyes on him, that we can uh, put our burdens on him as he asks us to do. And, um, and hopefully it won't be long before uh, we get to see him. So I'll leave you with this hymn, It Won't Be Long.
Before we pray, I just wanted to uh, thank you again for this opportunity to share with you. And I also want to remind uh, everyone that's watching to watch the church website, uh, the email newsletter, or social media for the next Vespers, which um, I have the privilege of doing with Anthony Leon. Um, and that's going to be in two weeks. So I hope uh, you could uh, come back and get a fresh dose of sabbath worship um in two weeks all right so let's bow our heads for prayer heavenly father thank you for the sabbath thank you for the rest and the quiet that we so need right now thank you for um reminding us that it won't be too long that you will bring peace and justice and also your love in a very real way to us. Um, we all look forward to being together, to sing hymns together, praise songs, hymns, everything um, with you, with the angels. And so, Lord, um, please come quickly and thank you again for the blessings we have, even amidst all of the crazy things that are happening. We love you, and we wait for you and for your presence to be with us at all times. For we ask this in Jesus' name, amen. Good night, and happy Sabbath.